Hey, what's up guys? This is Correcty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this transmission tower in Minecraft, also known as an electricity pylon. The steel lattice structure is used to support overhead lines. You'll usually see this uh, like in the countryside, like they go over long distances, as you can see that one over here. And this is the set for the CSX Crazy 8's uh, animation, so I just had some electricity lines, and I decided, you know what? Uh, it might be cool to have this as a tutorial. So here's what it looks like by itself, and it is 36 blocks tall. And it does look like a squid, and if you guys are interested in making a diagonal, this is what it looks like. I won't be showing you that, since that is a lot more complicated, and I sort of just like uh, did it unevenly. It's just like not exactly perfect. Uh, but this one right here, this is going to be fine uh, for the tutorial. Now, the way I made the overhead lines in the animation set, I use buttons, but if you can't use that, you can use chain blocks instead. You would just like add in the electricity lines like this, you know, and then connect it to like other towers. And you could put that on a diagonal or straight if you want to keep it simple. But anyways, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do, we would grab some materials, let's take out uh, andesite wall, uh, iron trap door, chain block, smooth stone slab, and um, iron bar. And we're just going to be building uh, one face of it first, and then we'll make the top part in another area. So first off, let's place down uh, andesite wall, and we're going to make that so it's going to be four blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, like that. And then we'll add in smooth stone um, slab. So one's gonna be up here, and then we're gonna go down diagonally, and then down diagonally again. It's gonna be three like that. And then we're gonna go up diagonally, and then up diagonally again like this. Then we'll add in iron uh, trap doors, two of them underneath here. And on top of this section, we're gonna make this go all the way across right over here uh, to the midsection like that. All right. And realize why is this iron trap door opening up? Next up, let's add in an iron bar right over here to the side of this wall, and another one on top, dangling up, and then another one dangling up, but also put it on the inside of this. And then we're gonna add another one dangling up, and then a third one dangling up from this. On top, we'll add in chain blocks, so it's three blocks tall. And then add in a smooth stone slab on top. Then three iron trap doors to the side of it. Just like that. Then we'll add in um, an andesite wall below it. Dangling down like that. And we're going to make this go all the way to where we have the other andesite wall. Down like so. All right, so next up, let's go to the second to the top iron bar right here, and we'll add in two iron trap doors like this. And then we'll add in uh, two iron bars on a diagonal. Then we'll go up here, add another one on a diagonal, like two of them. Goes across like that, and then we'll add a third one right next to the chain, so it looks like this. All right, so next up, we'll add in an andesite wall next to this or behind this iron trap door, and we're going to make it seven blocks tall, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven like that. And then we'll go down here, add an iron bar, diagonally up, so we're going to add in three on a diagonal, so one, two, three. Then we're going to go add in a chain, just two blocks wide, going horizontally, and then another two iron bars on a diagonal. Then we'll add in um, iron trap door here, just two blocks long. And then we'll go down below, add in another iron trap door like that. And then chain block, it's going to be uh, two blocks tall, so one, then two, like so. And then we'll add an iron bar to side of that chain block, and then um, another one diagonally up, just like that. On top, we'll add in two iron trap doors, like this. And then andesite wall next to the iron bar, and we're going to make it so it's six blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll add in iron bar, one on the inside of this. 
that. And then we'll add another one on the outside part here in the middle and then dangly back up right next to the wall. And then two blocks wide, iron trap doors. And then iron bar on the inside of this. And then another one right on top here in the middle. All right, so next we'll add in an anisite wall directly inwards with an iron uh, bar like this. Then we'll add in, um, so there, there's another anisite wall here, and then iron bars, and then anisite walls, the iron bars so that we have this square shape. All right, so once we have this, uh, we're gonna copy um, everything that we did on this side and then build the other half so that this is the midsection. All right, so once we built the other half, it should look like this right now. And now this is like one face of it. We'll have to build the other uh, three faces so that we have all four faces. So do that right now. All right, so once we built all four faces, it should look like this. Now we have a nice lattice structure. Now all we have to do is make the top section now. All right, so to make the top section, we're going to make this wall 11 blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and 11. I'm going to do that to the other end right over here. Just like that. And then we're going to add in um, an upper iron trap door like that. Iron bar on top. A horizontal chain. And then iron bar on top. And then an upper iron trap door. A iron bar on top of that. And then a chain, iron bar on top of that. And then an upper iron trap door. So it should look like this. Now what we're going to do, we're going to um, build the same thing. And we're going to build it on the other side. Alright, so once we built it on the other side, it should look like this. Then we'll go on the very top of this. And we'll go daily inwards and add in an iron bar like this at the very tips. All right, and then we'll add in a smooth stone slab. It's going to be a uh, slab taller than the iron bars. And then we're going to go uh, diagonally down. So it's going to be five blocks or five slabs long. So one, two, three, four, and five, like so. And then we're going to add in an iron trap door right over here. Lines up the rest. And you know what? Just add in iron trap doors for the other areas if there is one on the level. Then we'll add in um, iron uh, bar, just on the same level where all the other iron bars are, just add them as well. Then the layer with the chain block, we're going to add in a smooth stone slab, and it's going to be in the bottom part of it, two blocks long here. And we'll go um, down to add in two iron trap doors here. Smooth stone slab, dangly down, another smooth stone slab. Then we're going to go to where this chain block is, add in an upper smooth stone slab. And we're going to go down diagonally, so it's going to be four. So just add it. That's four. And then we're going to add in um, nether brick uh, fence underneath all these uh, slabs at the edge, like that. So now we have to connect it to the body, so uh, we need to add in iron uh, trap doors. So it's going to be like. It's sort of like a V shape, so it's sticking out on the ends, like that. And we're going to do this to all of them. And for this level here, we'll just make a V shape, just make it go inwards like that. So it's going to be two. And then this one, just add in two iron um, trap doors. Just like that, making a V shape for them. And we're also going to add in a chain inside like that. I'm going to add in chain inside all of these on the inside like that. While on this bottom one we're going to add another additional chain right on top of these trap doors like so. Alright so once we've done this side we're going to copy everything that we did over here and then build the other half. Alright so once we built the other half that is pretty much it on how to build a transmission tower in Minecraft. Now you can uh, assemble these in your town, just spread them really far apart and then connect them together 
uh, using you know chains for example or any other block that you want to use as a wire uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, remember to hit that like button down below if you want to support the channel. Check out our Discord. And anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.